All right, problem number 15. Let's get started. Problem number 15 says 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 squared plus 0 0.1 cubed equals what? Pretty easy. 0 0.1 is just 0 0.1. 0 0.1 squared is 0 0.01. There's two spaces after the decimal because um, if you take 0 0.1 and you multiply it by 0 0.1, there's going to be two, uh, two units after the decimal. So you know that there's two units after the decimal. Plus 0 0.001. You add these up and what do you get? You get 0 0.111. And that is answer B. Moving on. Number 16 says, a carpenter constructed a rectangular sandbox. So here's the sandbox. Like so. Uh, constructed this rectangular sandbox with a capacity of 10 cubic feet. Now when it says capacity, that's the same thing as saying volume. And what is volume? Volume is length times the width times the height. Which means this here times this here times this here. So we know that LWH equals 10. If the carpenter were to make a similar sandbox twice as long, twice as wide, and twice as high as the first sandbox, what would be the capacity in cubic feet of the second sandbox? So if we're going to double each of these sides. We can take this equation here and actually just double all the variables. You would get 2L times 2W times 2h equals something or other. Now, if you're going to double these on the left, what's going to happen is uh, you're, you're going to want to multiply these, these numbers here together. So you got 2 times l times 2 times w times 2 times h. That can also be, uh, you know, you, you can actually rewrite this as 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is, uh, is 8. You get 8lwh equals something. Now, if on the left you're going to uh, multiply it by 8, then on the right you're going to want to multiply it by 8 as well. So right now, on the right, it's 10. If you multiply that by 8, you get 80. So 8LWH equals 80. And 80 is answer D. Number 17. A bakery opened yesterday with its daily supply of 40 dozen ro rolls. Now this is one of the tricky things that the GMAT does for you. They'll use words like dozen to make you think of the, the number 12, but actually in this problem it doesn't actually matter. There's, you know, the, the unit they're using is 40. They're saying 40 dozen rolls. Think of dozen rolls as, uh, as the item that they're selling. So this is the only number that you have to think you have to think of. When I first did this problem, I was thinking, well, do I take 40 and I, I, I multiply it by, by 12? No, you don't have to do any of that. They're saying 40 dozen rolls. So let's just concentrate on the 40. Okay, it says you opened up the store with 40 dozen rolls. Half the rolls were sold by noon and 80% of the remaining rolls were sold between noon and closing time. So you got before noon and then you have after noon. So these are the two time periods that they're looking at. They're saying half the rolls were sold by noon. So half the rolls are sold by noon. Uh, let me see here. Half of 40 is 20. So 20 were sold uh, before noon. And how many are left over? Uh, 20 sold, 20 left. And they're saying that in the afternoon, uh, they sold... What did they sell? They sold... 80% of the remaining rolls. So 80%, which is 0 0.80, of the 20. And what does that come out to? That comes out to, let's see, 2 times 8, 16. That comes out to 16 sold after. Um, now, you remember what the question is actually asking. It's not asking how many are sold after. It's asking uh, for the entire day, the amount sold. Um, you know, how, how many were left unsold. So we know that they sold 20 before noon and 16 after noon. You add those up and you get 36 sold total. Now they started off with 40. They ended up selling 36. So you subtract that and you get 4. 
4 is D. Number 18. If the area of a square region having size of length 6 centimeters is equal to the area of a rectangular region having width 2.5 centimeters, then the length of the rectangle in centimeters is what? So they're saying that there is a square and there is a rectangle. And the two shapes, you know, the areas are equal. And for the square, the sides are 6. And for the rectangle, the side is 2.5 and something. Whatever it is that we're trying to solve for. This is what we're trying to solve for. All right. As we know, area is length times, uh, times width. So the area of the square is going to be 6 times 6. And that's 36. And the length of uh, the rectangle is going to be 2.5 times x. And these two are equal to each other. So 2.5x equals 36. What you can do here is move the decimal over one spot. Move the decimal over one spot. And you have 25x equals 360. And x, uh, that comes out to, let's see here, 14.4. Yes, 14.4. And that is answer E. 19 says 150 is what percent what percent of 30 we can use that ratio uh, the percentage ratio that we we had set up previously to figure out to, to solve this equation um, remember that they're saying 150 is what percent of 30 that's the same as saying 150 over 30 equals what portion of of 100. Yeah, so uh, cancel out the zeros. Three or 15 divided by 3 is 5, and then you can cross multiply. So 500 equals x, and that is e. Number 20. Wow, we're just blasting through these right now, aren't we? The ratio of two to one to three, one over three, is equal to what other ratio in the answer choices? Let's see, a third to two. Uh, what you're going to want to do here is, uh, is multiply both sides by a number so that you no longer have the fraction. Uh, since the, the denominator here is three, let's multiply both sides by three. So if you multiply three here and you multiply three here, you get... 6 to 1, because 3 over 3 equals 1, right? So 6 to 1. And is that one of the answer choices? Yes, that is answer choice A. All right, I think that's it. Let's continue this in the next video.